I am with Exact Target in Indianapolis. We are a software as a service company, a uh, fairly large worldwide one-to-one uh, -one messaging is how we put it, but a lot of email. We do SMS sending, uh, Twitter integrations, Facebook integrations. We do uh, the sending for many of the largest brands and companies on the planet, including Microsoft, uh, folks hosting us here today. And PASS themselves, the PASS Community Connector, we send those emails. We send uh, messaging for a lot of banks, large retails, uh, large websites, you know, travel sites. We do a lot of their uh, email as well. So a lot of that and the entire application, as far as the transactional engine and all of the work, it does run on SQL Server. And it's a fairly large system for just SQL Server. Uh, the single application is a petabyte of data and indexes in over two and a half trillion rows. And it is a true 24 by 7 system built on Microsoft Stack uh, running on SQL Server in that we never get downtimes. We don't take a, a service outage. Uh, it's all built on clustering and the ability to just keep running no matter what. Uh, running on this stuff, I mean, we can stand up a server, hit it with thousands of batches a second for well over a year before we have to do anything in the way of a reboot. So it is entirely possible to build a massive system that does not stop on SQL Server. There's, there's no time at which you say, now we need to go to insert other product here. So it's, it's generally just down to design and implementation. You can build these things on the software. I'm the, the database principal there. I uh, primarily work with the, the performance team because having that much data, performance is key. Uh, throw it all in there and somehow you need to get it back out again in a reasonable time. So we do a lot of query tuning. Also work with a lot of our developers in designing the, the applications, how it works against that data, the data structures that go in, and, and of course the queries that do the work. So uh, I'm here today to talk about TempDB, which is a system database within the database engine. Kind of call it the swap space. There's a bunch of sort of temporal data winds up in there. And <clears throat> unfortunately, it's, it's very, very key to the health and performance of an instance. And a lot of the information out there on the internet, people will go and you know, try to look things up, it's wrong. Uh, there's a lot of myths out there that are perpetuated and, and copy and pasted that just simply can lead people in the wrong direction. And if you have an unhealthy TempDB database, things can get very stuffed up in there and folks will spend a lot of money to try and get it faster, but the reality is it's just, uh, it can become a single threaded instance no matter how much money you spend at it. And it is very possible to, to detect these issues very simply to see these things. And then a lot of them have simple fixes as well once you understand what's going on under the hood. So with a couple of quick demonstrations and a couple of bits of advice, folks can move on from some of the, the rule-based myths like you know, thinking that a table variable is always in memory, thinking that you, know, you should have one data file per CPU. These are things I see repeated a lot out there. These are simply uh, wrong. <clears throat> in some cases, what, what's out there, if you have the right setup, if yours matches what that person went through, then yes, that piece of advice will work. But so many environments are different from each other that instead understanding the internals and applying those to your situation is the way to get out of trouble.